we go. What, what did I just say? Generic intro into that goes me. We're back with another Doug Doug video, and today we're doing his newest video, which is I let Twitch chat make their own D and D campaign, which isn't the first time he's done this. He did this a couple months ago, I think. I don't think it's been a quite a year yet, but it's actually probably one of my top three favorite Doug Doug videos I've ever watched. I also reacted to it. It's on, on my channel, also in a playlist with all my other Doug Doug videos. You check my reaction to the last one, which was uh, if Twitch chat breaks my word or my secret rule, they're banned. You check my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below the description. Also in that playlist. Like I said, shout out to the patrons because they get all the videos a day early and I should not be editing or recording this video because it's such a long video and I have to edit it tonight and get out to the patrons tomorrow. But I'm doing it all because I love Doug Doug videos that much and you all seem to really enjoy them as well. So thank you so much for being here. Like I said, shout out to the patrons, $3 a month, all my reaction videos a day early. Also, I'm playing Delta Rune, streaming Delta Rune for the very first time on Saturdays and I should be streaming Genshin Impact this coming up Friday, the day this video goes live. I usually stream Genshin uh, on Fridays at 5 p.m. and I stream 5 p.m. on Saturday for Delta Rune but hopefully this is as good as the last one a lot of people were commenting about it in the last video i do read all the comments least down below but let's go ahead and jump to uh twitch chat's D, D campaign all right the the, the mug mug yeah i i heard about this it's been everywhere from Parks or Toys. The it's not Parks or Toys. Ever, with a giant top of ultimate spilling action. Yeah, apparently it's not actually good. Huge. It holds up to 32 liters of fluid to crush your 32 liters? To be literally indestructible. And thousands of did they film this when they did the AI Chef from. video? Doug, Doug, I'm guessing it's supposed to be the little pepper. At Doug, Doug, dot shop. The mug mug is $25 plus shipping and handling. Dug Dug is not responsible for injury or death by mug. By death by mug? Of my Dungeons that and is one of my favorite Twitch videos I've ever seen. I put a ton of time and effort into. I decided it was to do such a good the video. The exact opposite of that and create the worst D&D campaign that I possibly could. Oh no. Could oh, no. Literally everything on the spot. Oh and no. And it horribly in Photoshop. Then having Twitch chat control the characters and try to beat the campaign. This oh, is no. total improv D&D. And to start this off, we'll need to create three different characters. I feel like Doug. Chat could be a part of Maybe a D&D campaign. we pick a class first, and then we decide from there? People are saying chef, bard. Otter and dwarf are like the race, right? Okay, so I guess chef. There's like big yes, chefs, right? Like this. What is it? Is it He's an otter? Is it a dwarf? Is it something else? Okay, somebody just said American. Just like an American the dude. Goblin. It's a frying goblin. pan? Like Goblins. it's a chef frying pan? Also from Jack channel. Bee. Hopefully it comes I back. I mean, sure. A pepper. Bee. What about a rat? A pepper? Oh, a rat would actually be pretty good for ratatouille. All right, any of these jump out of you guys for what it is. Looks like we are torn I'm just get the idea because the a little pepper a in the corner. <laughs> okay, he is going to be a frying pan. Chef. <laughs> Can one of the characters just be a bear? Like a normal confused bear. It's just bear. there. <laughs> there's just no context for why there's a confused bear with them. Okay, I mean, does that look like a chef frying pan to you guys? This would be the character. Give the frying pan a guys and a bacon smile. He's put a lot of effort into this. It's a chef after all. Wait, wait. Looks like the Pringles guy. <laughs> he does. Looks like a frying pan. Issues. Can we name the chef Jeff? We need to give frying pan a name. We will well, give there's it a name. Jeff yes. right there. In fact, let's do that now. Jeff, a lot of people seem excited about. Why? <laughs> Pring <laughs> Pringle. Pringle. I don't think he looks... <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I mean, a bit, okay, yeah, yeah no, he does. Happy to introduce you to Pringle, the chef frying pan. So his class is. I can wait for chef. the Mandela Move effect uh, with. He can deal fire damage and heal allies. Okay, fireball just like burn people's hands. It's not <laughs> like it. he does a lot of damage. He just like gives. He's also heavy burns, if he's cast like, Uncomfortable burns on their hands. And he could like cook, yeah, cook eggs. Make Those eggs. Let him cook is the move, and then you just figure out what that means. <laughs> okay, let him cook. Let him cook. cook. That's perfect. We'll give him two moves. He can also, cook a meal once a day and heal all allies slash status. Cook food for allies. Hand second. Sexual. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything. Grease fire. I do like grease fire. Grease fire? fire? Sexual, it's Gets why I don't okay, notice water, I guess. pride could be seduce an enemy. Oh, oh that's good. definitely going to be that. Swap places with another Oh, that's character. good. Okay, we'll do uh, moves three and four. Pansexual pride and scramble. Yeah, those really are good. Quick, we're going to write down a few personality the Minecraft you can scaffolding sound effect? Here to ready, set, go. Very hot. Hot? Oh, very spicy. Like a spicy personality. That's good. He's French. Okay. Oh, hot, wait, wait. strong, and sweet. Very food. 
food critic. Hate I think eggs. we got our character. He's like a very snooty food critic. Welcome. Eggbert. No, it's not his name. Eggbert. Pringle. Pringle. Suggestions for character number two. What do you got? Chair character. I don't want to do another chair. inanimate object. I guess we can make it a chair. <laughs> Why a chair? There's a frying pan and a chair. That's fucking stupid. Bear. Okay, a lot of people talk about a bear. A bear. Hey, what man. is this? A uh, <laughs> what is that game? Baldur's Gate 3? You're too set on inanimate objects, I think. I think bear is more interesting Caveman than chair, personally. We could add he has a move where he transforms into a chair. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. Okay, but if that's one of his moves, the chair doesn't do anything. Wild shape. <laughs> the bear will be oh. a druid. Okay, I will uh, now draw a beautiful bear. Oh, Watch greatness. Oh, oh. I mean, the pan didn't look too bad. That actually, I'm going quick here. Okay? It's actually Don't worry really too good. Much about the bear. Okay, yeah, well, bear why is, is it amazing. so thick? Absolutely beautiful. This bear is really gonna come together. It looks kind of like a lion. Brown. If you drew a mane, it would be a incredible. I think that's a lion with dysmorphia. He's a beautiful bear. We need a name for him. Garfield Bear. Garfield Barry. Barry. <laughs> Barry. They're not very good names. Egg. <laughs> There's one guy who said polio, so I'll throw that in. Okay, it looks like egg uh, one. We need some moves for our egg. bear druid. I love eggs so damn much. So oh, move but doesn't the frying pan hate eggs? Do cocaine. What was the other one? Oh, like shaped cocaine bear. Chair, okay, right? I, okay. The third move is okay, polio. That makes that's sense. That's just a disease. <laughs> like, what what does this mean? Okay, so he uses the like, move that, and okay. gets polio? So his, <laughs> his moves are to do cocaine, turn into a chair, and get polio. Okay, what is that works? personality traits? it would be like confused. Has polio. That's not a personality trait. That's, <laughs> <He> <laughs> I mean, money. he can be. I guess he hates eggs. Okay, But sure. his name is These Egg. Small words. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to- Wise? Character number two. Egg the confused drug addict bear. Druid. What class is player number three? Like an archer monk or something. Lawyer is funny. Lawyer? Pregnant. Pregnant is not a class. <laughs> Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter could actually be pretty good. Arsonist. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what, did any of these jump out? So much Single town of Salem. is not really a class. Polio or poliomyelitis is a disabling and life-threatening disease caused by the polio virus. It's basically a fussy uh, paralysis wait, hold spell. On. So polio will paralyze the bear. The other move yes. that he has is to turn into a chair, which basically paralyzes him. <laughs> Two of his moves are just paralyzing him himself. Wait, so the cocaine. Egg sucks. We voted that our third uh, but, uh, is he's going to be the MVP. Which is Watch. A great combo with our bear. The bear gives polio. Does he give polio? Yeah, he gives he polio. No, he polio. gives polio. Everybody gets but polio. Doesn't it take a while? Like, hey, allies, get down! I'm about to pull. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, I'm playing so Delta Room for the very like first time. Streaming on Saturday. Polio spores everywhere. I also stream Genshin. Fridays. Babe, I'm gonna polio. Okay, we have an arsonist. What is it? Goblin, chicken. Oh, spine. that's. Pyro from TF2. Okay, that actually kind of works. Yeah. Maybe yeah. A demon. Oh, yeah, it could just be like a hell demon. A Wait, tree. How many characters are there? <laughs> so stupid. A snowman? Wouldn't he melt a guy? Just a normal guy from. Missouri. If it's just a random Missouri. dude, why is he an arsonist? The joke of him being oh, a normal is... guy doesn't really work with him being an arsonist. You know what I mean? Isekai main character. <laughs> so he got isekai into this world, but he just is an arsonist. It looks like it's going to be just a guy from Missouri. But if he's just uh, normal, there's no like personality. His personality is that he wants to get back to Missouri. Why would he want <laughs> okay, to do that? Fine. A normal guy from Missouri wins. Guy from Missouri. Uh... Oh, 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 there's some interesting. Can he be in the shape of Missouri? <laughs> but he's a normal guy. He's perfect. <laughs> this guy <laughs> sucks. We do need, though, oh. a name. A lot of excitement. Even the Bob. shirt color, Bob. Missouri. That's too confusing. I won't be able to differentiate Me between sword. the two. Mr. Zuri. <laughs> Misery. <laughs> Point Crow. Point Crow? Name him Douglas Douglas. Well, no. Hold on. <laughs> he <laughs> look like me. That'd be confusing, because then we wouldn't know whether we're talking about me or not. We could have him be called Doug, but I think we can agree. Oh, no. Is the resemblance the is uncanny. Stop okay. it. Okay, happy to introduce Doug. Doug. <laughs> Doug. An arsonist from Missouri. So, Doug the arsonist. Is that the dude that got arrested move? actually an is arsonist? Is he a flamethrower or just like a box of matches? Is this the milking stream? Because I feel stream? like a normal guy. The no, what? I feel like a normal the, the guy what stream? A flamethrower. He has a big lighter. <laughs> Number two, a lot of people are saying depression. That's not really a move. You don't do anything with that. I guess it's no different than polio, but tax fraud. How would that help <laughs> grow weed? Okay, okay, move number two is to grow weed. Doug is such a chill dude. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he does not look chill. What is his third move? Bro, a lot of depression. Tax evasion. Tax, of evasion. tax evasion. Spill gasoline. Honestly, I, like I can't blame him. Flame punch. <laughs> Hold on. That's very, like, fantasy-esque. So you're saying the, his moves should be the tax a rate. big lighter, oh growing weed, and flame punch! And then he's just randomly Double tax an anime character sucked. with one of his moves.
Sure. Somebody said beat up sixth graders. I've hated that. What? That's very, it's too specific. Go ahead and vote. Apparently his third move is gonna be beat up sixth graders. However, technically when you're playing him, you could set your hand on fighter with your Bic lighter and then punch somebody. Midlife mm. crisis will be, will be his personality what, trait. What, what does that mean? He buys me out <laughs> Divorced and just wants to go home. Okay, divorced fits with this guy. Tax evasion is not really a personality. We'll say hates tax. That for some alcoholic. people it is. We didn't really give him alcohol though. We'll just say addicted to stuff. Has a criminal record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Man, I mean, he's an arsonist. Doug, the arsonist guy from Missouri. I wish this Doug was streaming. Now that we have <laughs> our three characters, we need to create a that map is... of the world. This is going to decide where the campaign starts and where the campaign ends. Missouri. And all of the locations that they could visit along the way. This is the kingdom of blank. Our three adventurers, Pringles, they... Egg, and Doug, are going to travel through blank, 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 and blank to go to the so castle. So we need how many destinations? From blank. Or locations, and have I guess. To blank along the way if they want to blank. So here's what I'm thinking. We do like a bunch of paths and then there'll be new spots. So you can like decide where to go at each fork. But right? and what we need to decide does that really is what work? Are the Shouldn't it be random like so they don't know? Between. The first question is though, what is happening to the king? What is the goal? King has polio. What? Okay. He needs some weed. The king <laughs> needs weed for his wedding. Save king is getting queen. married. Rosa, she was kidnapped. Aw. King is trying to nuke a dragon. <laughs> he needs milk. King's King trying to take I, a nap. That's not like a really compelling story. Ideally, there's a reason. Like, there's a thing you're trying to go. Yeah, through. like an King actual. Is stuck on his throne, and he needs help. King. <laughs> he needs life alert. The then sixth graders are trying to nuke the castle. All right, what is the goal Average of our story? Game. It looks like our brave heroes are going to stop. I feel like it's always the most recent one. Trying to nuke the castle. Now that we know how the story ends, we need to fill out what are all the spaces between. As you travel wait, across the land. Wait a minute. If they make it to the end. What are they gonna have to do to the sixth grade? Canada. <laughs> As you travel across the land of Canada, which Doug got isekai'd into, I guess, we need to come up with all the locations that you might come across on your way there. Maple Syrup River. Okay, That's not find. it. We need to have just a Niagara Falls tavern. has to be on there. Queen's Tavern, sure. An old timey schoolhouse with sixth graders. Yeah, I but when they would they not have any pirates. sixth graders? Sure. Add fantasy Quebec. What about the French? Oh, so a toll bridge is good. Okay, there's a geese volcano. And now that our oh, map okay. is completed, we are ready to no begin Niagara the adventure. Falls. So I selected three random Twitch chatters to play the role of each character, and we headed out on the road. Welcome and this is the, the map of Canada. But they don't have like a setting, do they? For our noble heroes, who I need to put on here. The king is in danger. They hear there's six graders with nukes at the Blurry Castle. We need your help. Eager to save the king, the three heroes but, like, they don't set have a, out on an adventure a, a scene across for each the of lands them, of just... Fantasy Canada to save the beloved Blurry King. Adventures. Where would you that like? First head video out first, is so the good. Queen's Tavern or the Rickety Bridge. If we go to the tavern, I can grow and sell weed. Why would they let you sell weed grow? in the tavern? <laughs> the tavern might be a good place to judge their food. After all, my quest is to prove I am the best chef ever. True. That's two uh, votes uh, for the Queen's Tavern. That means we're heading okay, over there. Well, I just realized the bear the tavern. <laughs> There's food there. <laughs> okay, the party's officially <laughs> dropped. <laughs> that voice gets me. Tavern. Chat, this is the Queen's Tavern. What is going to be the activity? Okay, so he's going to draw. Tavern? Okay, okay I guess it makes fight? sense. If there's a bar fight, I can join and beat up a sixth grader. <laughs> I guess it depends who's fighting in the bar fight. There's a cook off happening, drinking competition. Queen. Uh, is my money's on the bear. Karaoke <laughs> <Very, very laughs> night. Illegal bear fighting ring. D. Okay, it looks like there's going to be a bear fighting ring. Oh, no. In the tavern. That, that's, that's my queen. Let me draw up the tavern real quick. Guys, this looks fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Please give a warm welcome oh. to Queen. What is her name? That's why he's not even no, like Rosa's, doing it in. No, uh, not everything is Rosa. Rosalind. Everything can be Rosa. Okay. Rosalind the bear. Rosalind. Oh, no. And now I need like a goblin. Because if I make God. a goblin, I can just reuse it. But he's not even like doing this in MS Paint. <laughs> now that's we got a goblin. Okay, adventurers, you enter into the Queen's Tavern, Tavern, a famous establishment. Inside, you notice a bunch of patrons sitting around at tables. You see Queen Rosaline standing behind the bar. But in the center of the bar are two bears fighting. And what is clearly an illegal oh, fighting bear. I wonder what ring. egg you is thinking. You hear the patrons screaming and chanting, D bear fight, bear fight. What do you do? Wouldn't they be all around in a circle? 
Phase one, my plan is to grow weed. Okay, where, like, where? <laughs> you see the bears fighting each other. <laughs> Are there <laughs> any plant pots around? For sure, yeah. Uh, you notice that next to the fireplace, I mean, it's there legal are a in couple Canada, pots it? with, like, dirt Brody. in them. I take one and huddle over it, starting to grow weed. Okay, Can you just do that? I guess he's just a to bot. Pots of dirt in the corner. Must save the bears. He starts uh, planting so weed must in run the pots. To the fire and make popcorn. The noise uh -huh. and smells will cause a distraction. Pringle, the okay. Okay. It runs over to the fireplace stove. It starts throwing popcorn kernels inside of it. Egg break cage. Egg, meanwhile, uh, tries to break and into the free the bears As that are fighting. This, Queen Rosalind screams out, "No! What are you doing? I have so much money riding on this bear fight. Let's see if you can break into it. You are a strong bear, so let's oh, say you oh, need no, no, twelve no, above, but... and you break in." Uh oh. Okay, the that'll do it. In, and right as the bears were starting fighting, Rah! what do you say? Runyon! You Runyon? yell Runyon, but the bears don't appear to be they, they very speak smart, English? So they're just staring at you like bears. In the meantime, let's see if your weed is growing. 15 or above, and the weed uh, starts... Growing? Oh, it no. It doesn't look like it's getting enough sunlight. Let's see if the popcorn's succeeding. It probably is. What number is that? 20! Wow, the, the popcorn's, popcorn's done. starts bursting so intensely and so violently. Can I throw some of the popcorn outside the door and have the bears follow? Yes, your popcorn oh, bursts out of the fireplace. Shouldn't you try to recruit massive, bears? And you start hurling popcorn towards the door. The confused bears who are just staring at Egg see the food. They and look they're malnourished. Like, M. Using the gap mm -hmm. in the bear cage, they both run out the door. Queen Rosalind screams out, No, I take my some bears. of the popcorn in hopes of selling it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, dog. Grabs popcorn. Queen Rosalind okay. tries to you get popcorn after now? you guys to get her bears back. Do you do anything in the meantime? How does she do get the cocaine. bears? <laughs> okay. Coke is not very hard to do. So three or above and you do Coke. <laughs> three and above? <laughs> wow. Okay. How do you <laughs> fail? <laughs> How do you not? Cocaine on the floor. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to beat up a Really? On the floor? That would not stop people. Queen okay. Okay. These, these people lick their these phone screens and mirrors. Like, young. Looks like he's in a sixth the grade, floor would probably. not stop Grabs them. Him and then attempts to throw the goblin at the queen. Does it work? Six Especially a bear. Up. Oh, oh. Only an 11. Cocaine Instead, Bear was an interesting throw movie. The onto the floor. This is the worst class I've ever been to. Can cover the floor with popcorn butter to make the queen slip? You used most of your butter up Does here. Does the sixth grader land in the cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you actually throw the sixth grader directly onto the cocaine pile, and you see him sniffing into it accidentally. Oh, you no. Oh, oh, that's not good. In the thing. But if you get a 16 or above... Oh, shit. Not only do you not manage to throw butter on the floor, you accidentally spill some into this bear's eyes. And now he's running oh. around. Oh, confused. The other bear manages to escape, though. The okay, well, one bear gone. And he is really, really fucking high. He's so hyped up and so angry at Rosalind. What is this dream, right? him out I know they'd be dilated. Like, his eyes would get, like, big. He tries to attack Queen Rosalind. 17 or above, and he hits. Oh, 17. okay. Lunges on top of Rosalind and starts pulling out her hair. And she screams, Why? No, she My beautiful Joe. hair. Meanwhile, one bear has escaped. The other the is whole cocaine bear movie is has not how that went. His eyeballs. Queen Rosalind is distracted by the goblin. Lunge at queen I'm going arrow. to use my big lighter to set the queen on fire. <laughs> okay. Egg the bear. Lunges on top of the queen. Helps As a bear, down. bears are heavy. Rolls up with his Missouri big lighter. <laughs> Doug pushes the big lighter over Queen Rosalind. Nine. Or above. And you'll manage to nine. Succeed. Okay. Oh, no, there we go. And suddenly, boom! A giant fire <laughs> what if the sixth grader sets a blaze, crackling and booming? Look at the scene. And there's still what a the bear and that's as the evil ha queen running around in pain with butter in his eye. Because she was Arson evil, rules. and the fire slowly fades away, leaving that's behind really just cool. like a really flat queen. That's okay. You guys have managed to defeat the small business owner. And you got some sixth grader really high. And they didn't even she have use taxes. On her? Okay, Doug is going to check Queen Rosalind's evil entrepreneurial body for uh, treasure. Here's what we're going to do. I want four suggestions for treasure. A gun. I mean, that feels a bit <laughs> on the nose, but... A fork of true striking. Honey. Okay, fork Honey. of lifting. <laughs> you can lift people up with the fork. $50. But only if your fork lifts are Hairspray? Spray? Why would you want... Oh, because it's her. Okay, hairspray. And then the fourth option Treat. is the friend's we made along the way hairspray for flemming can i find Nothing. building ownership paperwork to add the tavern to my new that's food a good idea empire. yeah that's good deed to the tavern okay there are five potential treasures that you could win based off this die roll we will determine what you find inside but how do you pockets it is what does that have to be 
The friends we made along the way! That's the real treasure here. So, the yeah, bears. that's, I guess, yeah, for the okay. bears return and they live happily ever after. All right, okay, else with you guys butter in its leave? eye. I'm taking the cocaine goblin. He will be my go to <laughs> attack. Uh, Goop, I'm also grabbing the weed I grew. Cocaine goblin is on your team. Now. Cocaine is goblin is and he does say, definitely hey, a name. Take me back to school. It's near the castle. And the adventurers head off, having made uh, the world just a little bit better. Off to Missouri. Okay, Goob uh, is TTS. From now on, if you guys do TTS messages, you are representing Goob, the cocaine goblin. Oh, the party no. chose oh. to adventure into either the maple syrup river or the or cheese woods. What did they decide? Cheese woods. Cheese. I'm hungry. <sighs> cheese. Technically, Jeez. we have four people now. Cheese Woods. Okay, well, now it's decided. And thus, yeah. the party advanced forward, past the tower, well, and into the Cheese Woods. Let's find out what that means. Question. It's Goob, the, the Goblin. Woods? Okay, rat infestation. It's like, hey, what are they doing? Big rat. Thanks for yeah. saving me from that lady. I feel better than I have in years. Can you ask the bear to give me more of <laughs> whatever that <laughs> whatever was? You don't need more, unless Egg wants to give you more. Witches are turning this people into minutes. cheese trees. That's the dark secret of the cheese forest. Rat oh. mafia who demands cheese as payment to pay. The trees are melting, the and there's hole. a rat the cheese mafia tax. king stuck in the melted cheese. There's a witch who's melting the trees, and the rat mafia are drowning in it. All right, looks like there's going to oh. be a witch who's melting the trees. Time to well, do the best drawing of my life. The trees oh, are like melting okay, the lots cheese of out like copy this. And paste. We love okay, it. I need a witch. We should let those sixth graders nuke the king and instead just watch a movie and do metric shit tons of cocaine. <laughs> what do you say, team? <laughs> I think you Goob is actual the name. scenario if you want. That's not ethical Goob. Let's do it. Hey, that's you not cool. ethical. You Let's do like it. A limbless stick figure. Anyway, hi, egg. You look real cool if you give goob meth. Ouch. Screw oh. goob. It'll cook you next. For you, I add a little top hat and a gun. Oh. I like uh, it. Suddenly, the party enters the cheese forest. Goob is immediately asking for more cocaine from Egg the Bear. But as you look out, you bullet. see rats drowning in a giant pool of melted cheese. It seems the cheese trees themselves are being are melted. Being melted. I guess it makes the sense that the, the, the mice would be there. The rats would be there with, um, cheese. High graphical fidelity sparks coming mm -hmm. out of hand. Team, what do you do? Give Goob go flirt with my rat. <laughs> Flirt comes over to Goob and gives him more cocaine. Doug and Pringle Goob what are you challenges doing? the witch to a cocaine snorting contest. Whoever <laughs> does the most lines gets to decide <laughs> what to do with the rat. Can I swap places with the witch and let Doug handle her? <laughs> yes. Pringle steps up and uses their move. Scramble in a big poof. Okay. Pringle appears on the other side of the cheese pool. That's actually a brilliant right use of that move. You. Right then, Goob walks up with his Good cocaine and says, Goob, I hope she kills you. Yo, oh. I want to do a coke contest. Let's see how convinced. Here. What this is not a great argument because she's terrified 17 or above and she's Oh, down. please, please let it happen. Please let it happen. Oh, it's so she actually close. She does look pretty tempted for a second. It says, you know what? You guys are total strangers, but maybe I'll consider Say no to What drugs. are you guys doing here? You see in the background that the rats are sinking farther into the cheese. And you hear a Well, I guess if you say them, they'll join you. Parmigiano Reggiano! With even like a, a muffled gunshot in the background. Yeah, Why are they shooting the cheese? I will use the big lighter to try and set the witch on fire. Okay. Mafia. I'm not clear why you guys are so pro mafia, really. But Doug runs up to the <laughs> there, I mean, a big lighter on her. is that the worst thing they've said? Lighter on fire. 16 and above. Oh, no, buddy. You pour the big lighter over her hat. It turns out the hat is very, very flammable. Hold on, I need to prepare more CGI. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Let's see. Use all that mug mug money. And as he leans the big lighter towards her hat, you see a gigantic. I really hope mug mug money mug becomes a, a meme on this channel in his community because that'd be funny. Oh my god! Oh, wow! And the graphics are. Oh, there's probably insane. expensive to make a mug. Is super flammable for so some reason. Ceramic. And as she starts burning to the ground alive, she says, "I was just trying to help the rats. You guys didn't even ask me what was going on." That nat twenty. On. I thought I was the chef, but, but you Doug is the one who's really cooking. The, the horrible <laughs> witch. Good thing we have Doug in the big lighter. In the meantime, Dude, why is he the MVP? Just a little bit farther into the cheese. The cheese save my brats. Goob starts snorting the cheese. Okay, Egg and Goob both run up to the cheese. Goob starts snorting it. Egg is <laughs> roaring and eating. I reach my handle out to the rat boss to save him. Pringle reaches uh, his handle. You can see by the way that I happen to draw this that he just barely, uh -huh. barely has the distance to, to reach save the, the one with and the, the gun. Rat because one hand is holding a gun. He's disadvantaged and he refuses to give up the gun. I'm not I giving up my I gun. The mafia needs the guns. But he tries to reach out with his left paw. 16 or above and he'll actually grab it. Uh, 16. Ah. 
Ooh. Seven, the rat mafia king. He's slipping further in. Oh, he's Even the, the king. Gun is starting to fall oh, no. Says, no. That's not going to be good for it. Eat harder. These guys over eat here harder. are eating extremely hard. Egg, let's say you're eating towards this rat. 16 or above, and you'll make a path to him. Okay. I mean, I don't like the... Oh, he saved him. Egg he saved him. Absolutely blitzes yeah. through the cheese. He barges a path through it all the way to the rat and manages to pull him out of the cheese. cheese and you pop. see his body cheese as you pop. pull him out. You hear oh. the main mafia rat yell out, If you don't save me soon, I'm going to shoot you in the head as my what, last what? action. Oh, Brickle. wow. That's, that's Can I use not pansexual nice. seduction on the saved rat to make him leave his comrades behind and stay in my hat? <laughs> For Ratatouille. Okay. While the mafia rat is screaming, Help me! I'm almost to death! You're trying trying to Walks seduce to the, the rat saved rat. Shout, They're like, oh my god, you totally... Join me in my hat. It's not a particularly compelling environment. Let's say 14 or above and you convince him. Oh god, Ratatouille. Oh! Your pansexual seduction almost worked. He says, I, I want to join you, but let me at least make sure my boss is okay. And he uh, leaps he, into the cheese trying to save and starts it? trying to swim towards the boss. This is somehow Goob's fault. He's <laughs> running towards the What is the beef? Boss. 14 or above, and he makes it. 17! So he manages to okay, swim the boss to the Mafia Boss and start pulling him out of the cheese. He is delaying the, the other one is... the Mafia Boss is still stuck. Can I try to grow weed so I can use it no. to make a rope to throw what? to the Mafia Boss? Yeah, I don't know if you'll... I help. Doug starts trying to grow marijuana. But that's... I thought you were supposed to be eating cook. cheese. It's just... It's not like an ideal environment for it, and you don't have a lot of time. But if you get a 19 or above, the weed grows right now. Uh. 19 or above. Oh, well, missing the one the there. Weed is not growing yet. Turn into a chair so I, I can try to, to pull the to mafia rats. boss with it. Become the a situation chair. Is done. Okay. Egg the bear, who so far has managed to save one rat but couldn't quite get to the second, sees what he has to do. Turn into a chair. Is he gonna have the, the face? Turns into a chair. Put the face on him. Put the face in the back. The Come on. Rat mafia boss. What is the one with that back leg? Like? You turn into a chair. But the word chair is actually cut off because his mouth is starting to go into the chair. That's not what good. What exactly are you doing with the chair, Doug? To hand one edge to the mafia boss. Okay. Doug yeah. moves forward onto the path and then picks up the and chair the rat bear should, and but it's holds out under, the chair towards gonna kinda the uncover mafia it. boss. This is his last hope. Fight it, you stupid rat. <laughs> Let me on the end of the chair. He'll reach in for him. Goob also runs onto the chair oh, and tries to reach out. Oh, hey, yeah. Doug, no. Make this like a cocaine. 12 or go higher. 12 or 13. <laughs> Goob goes, oh, really? And starts trying to swim to this rat. Let's see if the Is grand mafia boss grabs okay, well, onto the chair successfully. 15 or above. 15. And he grabs oh, on, I guess he's Goob drowns. left. Oh, come on. Oh. And you watch as the mafia rat leader's head slowly is he's gone underneath the cheese. And you hear him yelling, fuck you. And muffled gunshots. Can we leave Goob with him? As he fires his serve? pistol pointlessly into the cheese. The last Somehow rat, it's though, shooting. still sinking. Goob is attempting to run over, but Goob that is trying to swim through the cheese. 15 or above, and he does it successfully. Uh, no, Seven. they Goob are is now drowning in the cheese. <laughs> and he yells out, hey, have more cocaine. Behind. That's all he's worried about. Rat, like, oh, shit, my boss. What the fuck do I do now? Use chair powers. Egg uses but, the chair powers. Which and is does what? Be, be a, a chair. chair. Yeah. That's Guys, it. what the hell? Stop trying to replace me and get me out of here. Can't you make a Has the weed chair? grown yet? If no. you get a 19 or above, the weed has grown. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. <laughs> no. Goob is screaming angrily. I turn the entire river into a giant cheese Shit. ball with my move, let him cook. Okay. What? Um, Pringle says, I'll help you out, rat, if you'll join us, and uses the let him cook move, which apparently, Does because we didn't establish this, turns it's just whatever the you entire want. river into a cheese ball. You see but can that be good for them? solidify into a huge... Pringle, why didn't you do this earlier? Puppy yeah, Max. you could have saved the, the boss. Friend, Unfortunately, because you did this while they were to drown first. inside the cheese river, they are now permanently encased until they can eat them out. Giant cheese puff. Unless they and eat them out. You see that Goob They're... starts screaming. Why is this? Eat them out of the cheese. So Just hard. as planned. And now, do you pitch the rat anything? Can I hit Goob with the chair? Give Goob more coke. <laughs> Doug walks with the chair and proceeds to beat the shit out of Goob. Ten or above Why? and you beat him to death. Doug eats Ten and above the cheese ball. Oh. Okay. He is beating him. Pringle suggests he eat Goob out. Be a bear, give Goob coke. Okay. The chair that should break him free. out of existence. And suddenly, Egg Bear, bear reappears, who proceeds Hi. to run down and grab this cocaine. I'm he sure says, he has plenty. Goob, and jams it into Goob's Don't nostrils. Don't eat Goob out. 
Well, don't say it like that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 I'm glad I made that joke first. To try and reach the lighter that Doug left on the ground and light the cheese oils that have risen to the top of the cheese to burn everyone to death. Okay, that's kind of fucked up and dark. Kind Doug of? Doug is right next to him with the Bic lighter. And Goob, with his free arm, grabs mm, the Bic the lighter and oil. attempts to set the cheese puff on fire. That's not good. This is a terrible idea, but he's high on cocaine, so he's yeah. gonna do it anyways. Metal, so this won't kill me anyway. Checkmate Goob, you little uh, shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it succeeds. 12, that's how low? <gasps> Goob says, I'll take y'all down with me. And this rat who's still here is like, wait, what? Wait, he's and like, what did I do? giant fireball erupts. What do you mean, we? spreads rapidly and oh, the entire thing's on fire. Before this shit kills us all. Okay, Pringle makes one last plead at the rat. The rat is now very convinced. Six or above and he joins. Six and above, come on, we have to. Yes. The rat says, yeah, okay, and jumps into your hat. Pringle runs away and gets the fuck out of there. Makes Eggs sense. the bear also tries to I run away from I the fire. I wish I hit good harder. Egg starts trying to <laughs> run as <laughs> the fire is spreading. Hard. 11 or above, you make it out. Yes, you are my new sous chef, Radagooby. Egg runs out. He'll run too. Doug tries to run as well. 11 or above. 11 or above, can you make it? There we go. Doug manages to escape. And you can hear the mouse the get out? Very, Doug very left the weed behind. As the three party members run off with a new party member, I guess, because the rat. The Does rat that's in the hat. More cocaine? Well, they lost Fuck Goob. Fuck you, Goob. Oh, and the party okay. has successfully survived. That poor the rat that got left behind. Oh, no. My half grown yeah. weed. Oh, yeah. I guess it'll burn. I miss Goob. <laughs> you miss him. <laughs> Next, our heroic, noble adventure. Now they're in the middle. They go east towards the otter pirates, or up to the volcano geese nest. Hey, I mean, gang, I hear volcanic Goob was geese taste delicious. We should try and. Cook if Goob was still alive, that's where they would go. Otters, probably. That volcano would be sweet to blaze some weed in. No. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're heading to the volcano geese nest due to the potential for marijuana and cooking. I will say, let's roll a nat twenty to see if Goob somehow escaped. If it's uh. twenty, then somehow he lived. If it's one, no. Okay. Sorry, Goob. And the what about the other mouse? To the volcano east nest. Well, our Twitch chat has managed to burn a woman to death. Her to bear. Introduce <laughs> coke to a child burned an innocent, and now uh -huh. burned a child and rat to death. What Actually, a good party! Yeah. <laughs> burned two women to death. Okay, we have a volcano yeah. scene. What should happen in it? The geese are committing a human sacrifice. That's so aggressive. Okay, volcano is filled with Can incredibly I drink lava? hot uh, salsa. The what is that username? of coke gremlins <laughs> so is everybody on coke in fantasy canada canadian geese sacrificing canadians fantasy oh. canadians there's a cook off if, you, if we do a cook off between the geese you guys are just going to set everybody on fire and geese leave are trying to sacrifice humans for a salsa dinner okay. what do you mean geese salsa dinner what is a salsa dinner to add flavor high geese feeding their munches on the hot salsa <laughs> not everybody needs to be high you can get them high he's in the middle of a drug deal i just feel like it's just been drugs and mafia <laughs> Are having what? fifth grade graduation ceremony at the volcano. <laughs> are all the goblins in fifth and sixth grade? All right, looks I like guess. these are gonna be sacrificing goblins into the volcano salsa to add Vol flavor. Oh. That's I already have the goblins drawn. I think it should be a Canadian oh, goose, Doug. This could be a goose, a Canadian goose, probably. Guys, this oh, fucking sucks. Nick. I Will? hate this guy. The party. Me and my girlfriend driving by somewhere, see a Canadian geese. I roll on my nose and start honk, like and yelling honk honk at, at the them. Top of the rim, I can't just look around. Into the crater. There are Horrified or delighted to see a bunch of goblins uh, drowning in what appears to wait, be a giant why are their eyes pool red? of salsa. Ah! Meanwhile, three more goblins are being pushed off the edge of like a diving board thing by three gigantic they enjoy Canadian geese. Hey, 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 hey. There's so many goons. this geese is maybe high also. Maybe. Immediately, the rat jumps into your the, head like the and says, I'm scared. Protect me, Pringle. I'll keep you safe, Will, buddy. Team, what Does do you want to do? Serve a purpose? I tell the goose babaziwa. Okay, you go up to the edge of the crater. Bellow out with your loudest bear voice. Babaziwa! What is that supposed to do? And unless you get a nat 20. There is no way. Okay, well. Nothing happens. That doesn't mean anything. But the I geese just look at you like, confused. honk, honk, honk at you in return. Geese get ready to get cooked. The geese oh, okay. continue to move forward. Pushing I mean, the let, a, goblin let them cook thing is kind of broken. Are the goblins dying or just marinating? I guess you could ask them. Oh, okay. All right. According to Twitch chat, they're marinating to huh. death. D. And you hear How long the goblins have? go like, ah, oh, this is, this is pretty good. Ah! Yeah. And then you hear one of the geese honk out. Geese, can oh, geese, you guys can geese eat dinner? salsa? We're making goblin salsa. Fuck these guys. D. 
Goblin salsa sounds delicious, actually. Okay, Pringle's interested. Okay. Peace out. The flavor's immaculate! The flavor's incredible! Pringle does not like goblins. Do appear to be in the sixth grade? Doug yells out across the crater. Hey, are these goblins in sixth grade? They shout back. Yeah, we grabbed them at the fifth grade graduation! Just barely sixth So the rising sixth, grade. sixth graders. Pour cocaine into the salsa. Let the goblins take it from ah. there. <laughs> I do that. Egg I do that. runs to the side and throws a bunch of cocaine out on the goblins. Goblin who starts sniffing it. Honestly, oh, okay. throw the goblins all in. I'll add some random vegetation I found into the mix. Pringle Pringle's like, oh, we're cooking. Let's go. Fresh herbs and spices into the salsa. And you hear from across the crater. Uh, hey, is that rosemary? That looks delicious. <laughs> I just want to get the goblin crisp like they're cooking in a walk. Fire punching a goblin. Meanwhile, Doug runs over, <laughs> says, mmm, delicious. Grabs a handful of the fiery hot salsa and then uses and his signature technique. What? Beat up sixth graders to start punching this goblin who's to the side. So Doug punches him farther what? and farther and farther and farther and farther oh. down in there. I tell you, you can only see his little ears poking out of the top. This is looking delicious. I uh, shot back, yeah. Punching Whose side are, are they on? Oh, okay. Pringle yells back. Yeah, it's rosemary and a little bit of cheese, Dale. And you hear the geese oh, kind of geez. shout back across. Oh, wow, that sounds delicious. Are they going to keep up with so the geese? We ran into you. And as they say that, they start shoving the goblins forward again. Another one gets pushed out into the salsa. Mmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> yummy. Yummy. Oh, oh, wow, is that from the uh, the cheese forest? That looks delicious. You guys are fantastic. Oh, no, the eyes Everybody are floating. Chair. Okay, Egg, meanwhile, does his classic chair. move. And the geese, you hear them shout. Oh, he drew Just a new a chair. minutes and the goblins will be ready. Then dinner served. This one moves over here and is just, oh, is just starting to, like, lick its beak lips. I have been informed of a time staff by chat. Can I grab that if it's a thing? Now, this a is time supposed staff? to be improv, so what? Right here there is a old staff. I want to be a bear again and use polio. Okay. On who? I will grab the staff and use it to help mix the oh. goblins in the salsa. You realize that this is actually a pepper grinder. Free pepper. Oh, nice. oh this is perfect. Free pepper. Damn. I tell I the goobs to play stuff. Marcio Polio. Winner lives. Marcio Polio. <laughs> Can you describe what happens when you... You use Marco Polio. What um what 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 does that mean? <laughs> yes! What do you mean, yes? Um, Egg uses his power polio and says to the goblins, we're playing Marco Polio. First one, I don't know what that reply would... gets polio, I guess. This one's busy doing cocaine, but this one just fell in. He's like, oh my God, what's happening? Wait, what do you uh, yeah, mean, Marco I mean, Polio? I had to see. And Egg says, but... congratulations, you win! And casts polio onto the goblins. But that's going to take a while, isn't it? And falls over into the salsa. Meanwhile, oh, the geese well... say, dinner's almost ready and push the final goblin into the salsa. Marcio Polio was my favorite game There's as a no child. There's no you in favor. Nice one, okay. Egg. And you watch as the Joke. remaining goblins that to say that. deliciously into the salsa. Just like mom used to make back in Missouri. These were supposed to be evil. There's... I made them look aggressive and you just There's team goblins. up with them to cook a bunch of goblins yes. who at no point have been described as evil. Listen, geese are friends. I mean, goblins. As the remaining goblins slide deliciously and they crisply really have no interest in saving. The geese fly over and say, it's been so long since we've had friends over Yum. for our famous mm -hmm. goblin salsa. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. dig in. After dinner, I asked if the geese can give us a ride to our next oh. location. My legs are pretty tired. Wait, hold what was on. it, the That's Hobbit? A good point. Nom, nom, eat, eat, eat. This is like Lord of the Rings. When was it Lord of the Rings was like, or was it Hobbit? The eagles just fly them to the end. Yeah, that, that's true. You have a very good point. I mean, I wouldn't want to go the whole way. They're going to be full of salsa. But this but has been going it's on cooking. For a while. We can skip the spelling bee. Or do you just want to be dropped off at the spelling bee? They've already done so much for us. I'm like trying to railroad you guys to speed up the campaign. And you're explicitly not using the hook. If they the can just take just us to the spelling you. bee. You're stuck in this with us, Doug. I literally. There's no getting out of this early dub. Whatever. All right, you guys ask the geese to the fly flight. to the next location. Have them take like, us to the otters. I want the a otter. spell. I say, want oh, a yeah, spell. Of course. You guys enjoy a delicious plate of salsa together. It's even got that little bit of that cocaine flavor in it. And then you head out you together. What do you mean cocaine flavor? Over Not the that's spelling that's bee. Congratulations, you have defeated okay. the geese nest. And you are flown directly into that's... the schoolhouse spelling bee contest. I just realized we've already established that all the school children in this Canada are goblins. So there's going to be more goblins. Do sixth graders catch polio easily? <laughs> I would think so. Don't ask that question in any context ever. <laughs> okay, so it's a classroom full of goblins. I mean, it's kind of a Can I smuggle question. in some alphabet soup to help me spell? Sure. What is going on in the spelling bee? They are spelling. It's a cult oh. that has a spelling bee for new members. Okay, I like the vibe of that. I'm just making it unnecessarily Doug's intense. Chair. <laughs> Giant bee is making The teacher this. is a bee. Spelling okay. bee that can sure. spell. Evil spelling bee D. I didn't write giant evil bee. I just wrote bee. Better 
burn it to death just to be safe. Goblins <laughs> just to be safe. Are spelling the word B for no reason. The goblins are on fire. Also, the goblins are on fire. If you vote for that, we can add it to whatever else. So I don't okay. think that the goblins being on fire got enough votes to justify it, them being on fire. So the result is that a giant I, B is making them spell. Spelling is B. the B like good? Evil B. Evil. Okay. I'm oh, gonna make okay. It really fucking. But is it? They just literally had sixth graders and goblin sixth graders in a volcano. I think I speak for everyone when I say, ah. Let's go. Remember kids, if you win the spelling contest, you get to take a field trip to Salsa Mountain. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> we go. The start. Break down the door. Okay. It was a pleasant day at the mm. Fantasy it's Canada Spelling, spelling bee. bee. Just as the bee and the children are about to start. Boom! The party burst through the front door. They still have the, the rat. Yeah. I do cocaine. I do cocaine. Rah! I smell weed in here. And the oh, do you? Is that the plant? turns to you and says, We're just in time for the spelling bee. Come on, have a seat. Join us. I don't like what that, do boys. Do? Challenge accepted. I turn into a chair. Uh, okay. <laughs> Doug okay. walks up and says, Yeah, all right, I accept. And conveniently, Egg turns into a chair for him. And That's Doug it. sits on top of Egg. Okay. And the bee says, Okay, great. Happy to have you here. All right, class. Uh, the first uh, word of the spelling bee is... B. Genocide. <laughs> okay, class. Go ahead. <laughs> this goblin yells out, uh, G. And the B says, okay. oh, very good. This goblin That's, says, yes. it's an E. Do you got any more of that? Oh, very good. And then, uh, Egg the chair shouts out, H. Mm. You see the B's eyes it's turn just a like, different color. What? Oh, and you tie. see the B turn its eyes towards you. Mm, that's not oh, how you spell. <laughs> and say, That's not how you spell genocide. And the B swings in for a sting, flying it. Oh, but when bees sting, don't they die hits. after? Aw, shucks. Oh. Five. Dog manages to dodge out of the way by sitting but stationary did, on the did chair. Did get hit? He shoots past and stabs this goblin with her I stinger. Jump off the chair. Uh, well, Doug nothing about was lost. Chair. This goblin is impaled by the bee accidentally and falls in a pool of blood. The oh, bee okay. is flying around for another attack. Change back into a bear. Okay, egg changes oh. back to a bear. He's like, Boom, okay, he's things going crazy. Why Iris is not red? Why is it the other part of the ID? I don't, I don't know. Says the bee. I'm not very good at art. Bear shield. Okay. Doug what do you mean bear shield? Jumps behind the bear oh. as a shield. I mean so bears scary. are big. Pringles is scared too. Jumps behind Egg the bear. I offer cocaine to the bee. Oh. <laughs> and the bear says, "Would you like cocaine?" What is it and gonna the be? Bee looks down at you. In front of the bear, please students. Don't and, <sighs> and the bee says, "Only if you can spell cocaine right now." Oh, I she think the bear can do that. Expectantly. C. Yes, that's correct. Um, C? Yes, that's the first letter. Oh. Yes, oh. that's correct. Okay. Uh. Yes. Uh, okay. C. Yes. Oh. C. Yes. C. Correct. I look at my pan full of alcohol <laughs> no. soup. No. Hey. Yes. Okay. That's correct. C O C A. C. Where? I. I. That's I. correct. C -O -C -A. Yeah, and then and E. She moves in. N. N -E -C is in there somewhere. One okay. more letter. E. E. There you go. That was correct. I'm so happy to say that you yes. guys win the spelling bee. For, uh, I, the I, we shouldn't be teaching that word. Cheering. Yay! You're the smartest That's really pretty good bee. Yeah. The guys start Top coming hat? over and patting you guys on the back and congratulating you. Wow, we've never had to spell that before. <laughs> Do we get a medal? You get one of these random prizes. What are potential prizes for I the spelling I beat up bee? the goblins. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The bee's going to give you your prize first. Honey! Okay, honey. Honey, that's okay. That's for spelling bee. Okay, okay. her hat. Some people are saying the dead goblins. I don't know why. Why? You How about Maybe all give it children? to the geese oh, to find? The nuclear launch codes. Okay. That's Depending gonna on win. What you roll, you get a random treasure. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Is it the dead goblins? The you win honey. Oh, okay. That could be useful. over a gigantic bowl of honey. And the goblins honey all say, time. Oh, that was going to be our dinner. <laughs> no. We were finally going to eat this month. This, this is like a honey goes five minute cocaine. destination the here. Kind of look at you, egg, and they're like, hey, can, can we have some of that, Mr. Bear? No! <laughs> Starve! And they all Starf. look sad and go, oh, 
everyone go back to their desk? You guys have completed my spelling bee uh, riddle. Any final actions in the classroom before you head out? We're burning on fire. Uh, Meanwhile, Doug goes and picks up a table, holds it above his head, and then throws it at the goblins who run away screaming. The bee ah! just watches this. And the spelling bee says, well, you know, that's your right. You did win the spelling bee. And the party heads off okay. to the next destination. Spelling bee Imagine gives you immunity. You class and a group of strangers break the door down. There's copious amounts of cocaine while screaming. Finds mm -hmm. the teacher, steals your lunch, throws a table at you, then runs out shouting something about nukes and the king. And that is uh -huh. a perfect segue into the final leg of the journey. As the party emerges, they travel the final way down the path towards the castle. So Where there's the sixth king. graders Ooh. doing this nuke that are trying to nuke. Okay, we know that there's a castle, and there's a king, and that there's sixth graders trying to set off nukes. Is there anything else that we want to add into this picture, or do I just start drawing? The king is tied to the nuke. That's good. Oh, sixth graders yeah. want equal rights for goblin. They could be doing it to get better grades. <laughs> okay, I like that. They want extra credit. We need Goob. Goob is dead. Go Goob is Goob. Okay, what sure. if Goob comes <laughs> back? We need to roll for the Goob coming goblins back. The goblins alive in Fantasy Canada are children because their parents are imprisoned under the castle. <laughs> Why are we so fucked? The goblins. Doug, what do you mean the king is strapped with the nuke, <laughs> or is he just strapping and handsome? Both. I'm gonna do a little uh, shading. Tell me if this is too oh, fancy. Let's see. Oh wow, Doug, you've outdone <laughs> yourself. Fancy. I like it. It looks good. It's too, too fancy. Good. I'm fine. We won't have shading. Then I need a cartoon king to strap to him. Did we elect oh. this guy? That's a good question. Is that oh. Santa? Oh, why? Why <laughs> is the arm Santa. so short? I mean. He looks a little. <laughs> He's not Santa. Wait, who leading the goblins? That's true. They do need like a leader of some. A kind. seventh grader. A seventh grader. <laughs> <laughs> there What's we the go. Difference between what? Being a seventh grader. <laughs> what did and I just grader? say? I distinguish it. Chest here. Long hair. Height. <laughs> but like only a little bit, right? Okay, I'll stretch him a tiny bit and um. He's just a little taller. Okay. <laughs> that is a truly threatening final boss. What would Ghost Goob be doing? Ghost Goob whispering into the seventh grader's ear to egg him on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that. There's a treasure chest back here. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn oh. chest. Now it's full of well, yeah, it it popcorn. Can be popcorn. Yeah. As the adventures barge in through the open castle walls, they're met with a horrifying scene, like a dozen sixth grade goblins. They just have one nuke. Around. The very king. He's very of happy Fantasy about this. Canada strapped to a nuke. A a hawk. And the king screams out, "Oh, adventures! Please rescue me from this!" How do you know they're on your side? Fantasy Canada. Meanwhile, one goblin looks about five percent taller than the rest, <laughs> and his voice uh, crackles just a little bit, and he says, "No." Oh, us goblins want good grades. Do you know how many of us have been killed when we didn't spell methamphetamine correct? <laughs> and the king, he says, why do this to Fantasy Canada? You've always loved us and being put in the salsa. And that's when you notice that there's a shadowy figure next it's to Goob. the seventh grader. It's Goob. The iconic Goob it's Goob. He's back for revenge. into the seventh grader's ears, convincing him to do acts of horrific evil. Oh, fuck. Not this guy again. Uh -huh. Twitch chat, if you donate messages, that will be the king's messages from now on. Adventures, what do you do? Light the nuke and run. <laughs> It's like the old we'll Top Gear it. clip we'll of uh, but before he could James May. The sentence, Doug starts running forward, holding his Bic lighter. Doug, no. And the seventh grader says, holy fuck, no, 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 hold on. Doug, uh, fire. This is a bluff. We weren't actually going to set it off. And he tries I to mean, stop he's an arsonist, so. at full speed. He needs to roll a 14 or above to stop you. He doesn't. Oof. Let's go. Doug runs past the goblins and sets the big light That's right not in the face of the nuke. I aim my time staff at Doug and fire. As Doug is leaning oh, you're gonna forward, freeze time? Ringles runs forward with the time staff in an attempt to stop this That's madness. Just a reaches stick, out but okay. with the time staff and some delicious pepper comes out onto the bottom. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It just kind of seasons the floor a little bit. Meanwhile, Doug leans forward with the big lighter. It's well seasoned, yeah. 14 or above will launch the nuke. It's not going Jesus. to. Sneezes. Oh. <laughs> and as Doug runs forward, you hear the <laughs> the flame ignites, and suddenly, that's boom, not how that happens. A massive explosion erupts from underneath Don't you the mean rocket, a and take you hear the king yell out. Wait a second, is that guy from Missouri? <laughs> I'm fucked. As the it's rocket engines begin, and you see the king. <laughs> well, now we just need Superman to uh, gather them the in atmosphere. space and throw them into the sun, right? This is happening. I hereby decree that all Bic lighters are now illegal. <laughs> the king shouts out, "No more Bic lighters!" 
I attempt I don't think to it rewind matters. time on the nuke. Pringles attempts to grab the time staff and rewind the time. And that just sprays more delicious pepper <laughs> on the It ground. doesn't actually do Hashtag that. not my dog. Back in the overworld. Everybody runs screaming. Is that the end? All the goblins are running for their lives. The seventh yeah. Why are they, they running? They didn't think brains. about this? And you look up into the sky. Certainly the nuke I mean, won't land. Dog Certainly the nuke in, malfunctioned. So. You wait for just a moment until you see. The king on his rocket slowly shooting it down it? towards Earth. I do cocaine to try. I want to run back to the castle. Oh, well. Scramble on the king. Wait, why? Wait, Don't why? Run back into the castle, hoping it'll help him. Goob looks at you, Egg, and he says, "Can I have a little cocaine before Ghost we Goob? Save him. Pringle cast. But I mean, you are a frying pan, pan reason, so. Hey, race a bump, bro. Swaps himself with the king, who finds himself Jump on the, the ground next to his subjects. Jump Pringle in the water. I don't know the about that one. Is watching it careen towards the earth. Throw it in the volcano. It'll give the king some cocaine to run faster as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, everyone. Everyone he goes and gives a bunch of uh, in the red eyes to Goob and the king. Why is it gray? Um, I use my pansexuality on the nuke. Pringle the frying pan looks at the what do you nuke mean by that? and attempts to seduce it. The goblins are all screaming in the background. Ah! The king and Goob and Egg are just doing cocaine. Doug's but hiding in the castle. He's probably going to the, the rat. Platform. But the, the rat nugget. energy weaponized into an explosive device. I've always loved you. Okay. okay. Now this is I a mean, they are and not a living like, creature, but similar just maybe shades of color. Off. Thirteen or above, and it just gets through to him. Both have grays. Both have yellows. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, the cold, calculating eyes of the nuke do not look back at you because it is an inanimate object. And as, as Goob well and the king as the and Egg, hand. please do one last line. <laughs> we are so poor. I thought the they were trying to run away from it. The cheese woods, where or maybe they should run Goob towards it. Laying. And explode. Make it quick, and maybe. I don't know. Greater. Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pringle Wait a minute. Scramble one more time. Swaps out, and the seventh grader swaps. It's like a certain character from. Uh, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm about to start season two. Oh, oh, so good. The, goes down and boom, over the seventh grader is so confused. Is Congratulations, Doug. Well, you did it. Wait, As why is it saved? The flames slowly fade away. You realize that, sadly, the frying pan and the goblins and the king and the bear have all perished in the nuclear explosion. Oh. But... Turns out Doug made it out alive. Doug of course he did. Castle. It was nuke proof. Let's go, Doug! I guess that makes sense that means since they had them. the new king of fantasy Canada and gets to enjoy all the popcorn to himself. Let's go, Doug! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'll you, Doug. But I thought he wanted oh, to go, go back to Missouri. Dead like go. Till the end of this bag. Good job, Doug. And literally nobody except Doug lived happily. No one ever except ever. Doug. Oh, seven Pringle, you will be missed. I curse you. No, I'm gonna set all of Canada on fire. <laughs> oh, oh And I Doug made his way to the center of fantasy Canada and set the entire thing on fire. Oh, okay. He the just wants to go to Missouri. Oh, seven. And that, dear viewer, is the beautiful story of how a magical frying pan of bear on cocaine it's and old man Doug traveled across an all of Canada named Doug and blew it from up Missouri. with a nuke. They didn't go that Merry way. They went Christmas, that way. Everybody. What do you mean, Merry Christmas? And there's a good, good video. Um, Wow. Okay, that was certainly something. It's 10 o'clock. I need to edit this video as well as two other videos and get them rendered tonight and out to the patrons for tomorrow. If you're watching this video on Thursday, then, you know, just a couple hours after I recorded it, patrons got all the videos a day early. It was a longer video. Almost didn't do this, but I'm like, you know what? I love the first one so, so much. People are asking for this one. I'm going to make sure I can do it, even if I hardly get any sleep tonight so thank you so much to the people that watch these videos and request it at all and all the people that are subscribed trying to hit 100,000 subscribers for my birthday so a little under three months away gonna need all the help we can get uh you know should be another home for losers with kirby live tomorrow and has been hotel will probably next week if i had to guess but really hope you enjoyed this video hopefully made a day a tiny a little better definitely stop by one of the streams i'll be streaming genshin impact today at 5 p.m and i'll also be streaming delta room tomorrow at 5 p.m over on twitch you can definitely follow me there and join my discord server so get notified every single time i go live but i really hope you have a wonderful rest of the day but until the next video take care and kitty music we were playing